high. So I got a garden. <laughs> I got a garden for this year. Um, I wanted to grow some vegetables that I like, um, that are also harder to come by in um, the grocery stores in their natural or whole form, straight out of um, wherever it was growing. Um, I, for those of you who do not know, I am of um, Cameroonian descent. I was born in Cameroon, so my taste palette or some of the foods that I like to eat, um, you know, are of Cameroonian origin. And I wanted to grow some of the crops that I personally enjoy. Um, and that's the beauty of gardening, right? You grow things that you like. You're not doing this for, it's about you. It's one of the most selfish things you could do. And you know, in a way, but not really. Um, another reason why I wanted to grow a vegetable garden was because I wanted to take charge of my health um, and I wanted to motivate myself to do something um, where I was completely in charge and I figured that me having a garden would keep me more active um, and it would give me something to look forward to. I went online, I looked for community gardens, um, I found one that was perfect for me. I paid my rent um, back in January. By the way, I'm filming this video in August. <laughs> Just to give you a little perspective of the timeline, um, I got it um, in January. The growing season for the community garden I'm on is from March 1st to December 1st. So I still have a lot of um, grow time remaining for this year. Um, so I went online, um, just, you know, Google Community Gardens. I got this garden and <laughs> then everything began. That is the garden. One, two, three, and four at the bottom. Oh, and five at the last end. Right there. As I was tilling um, and preparing my garden for the growing season back in April, I decided to bring my nephews along for the ride. So today is Earth Day. What did I bring you guys out here to do? To till the to farm. farm. To till the farm. Are you liking it so far? Yes. All right. And what are we going to do after tilling the farm? We're going to go, go to Popeyes. Popeyes. We're going to go to Popeyes? Yeah. What are you gonna get from Popeyes? Um, the chicken, chicken, and, 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 and some, some cookies. You want cookies? Yeah, chicken and cookies. What uh, kind of I chicken? The chicken that, uh, the, the cookies, like the cookies that the have those cookies. spread things and on it. Yeah, I would like the, the chocolate chip cookies. Chip cookies. Oh, yeah. Do they have chocolate chips? No, like, not those. <laughs> the, 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 the crackers? They have The crackers! Like, I want the crackers. Chicken. I don't like crackers. I want the crackers. So, Bursa, what are you doing right now? I'm just trying to, like, move the soil on top of the weeds. And so I'm so digging the soil, soil like, to the plant. It can grow into something or we can hide it. <laughs> yeah, we can hide it and it's going to compost, right? What's the, yeah. What is the rock? Oh, we le we're learning about composting in my school. You are? This is a different method of composting. So what have you guys learned today on my garden? We learned that... I think John Patrick, you can go first. Okay, so... We learned that... Farms are really big. You can... Like, you can rent a farm. You can rent a farm. Yes, I am renting this farm. What else? I also learned that... This farm is old. It's old? It's not I necessarily said, old. It's that. just the name and of the place. So we we're in old Landover land and the name the farm after the area. I what did okay, you learn, Bursa? So I learned that it's good to plant and it's good to compost. It's good to do the, the stuff for the environment. Good. What did you learn, Chenry? Uh, hey, the, right here. The, uh, Environment, the, 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 that the plants need water. The plants need water, right? Yeah. 
What else did you learn? That so the the plants need water and soil to grow. They do need water and soil to grow. That's right. Look at you. Okay. Crazy. Yes. What were you doing? So, so how do you get them on YouTube? I'm gonna edit it and upload it. So we are on my garden. Okay, come stand over here if you want to be in it. Because <laughs> apparently they all want to be in it. This is my second time coming to this garden to work and on Tumli's it. And Tumli's not here. Tumli's not here. Tumli is sick. Um, but I brought them here today because it's Earth Day. And I just thought I could teach them a lesson and get some free labor. And they've been super helpful. Have you not been helpful? Yes. They've been super helpful. We tilled the soil. You tilled we the soil. We took the weeds out and... We did a lot of work. We did a lot of work. So yes, second day on the garden. Um, it's a lot of work. Did well, not we think love it was. It. You love it? Yes. Okay, that's good. Did not think it was gonna be this much work, but hey, it's I'm glad good. you you love it. Okay, great. So this is the work I've done so far. I mean, we have done so far. We've taken out some weeds. How so. It looked like that, and then we have taken out the weeds from here, here, and here. And we're just going to cover these weeds here with some soil. Oh, look at the birds. The birds are probably eating leftover seeds from last year. After I fixed the garden beds, took out all the weeds, softened it, um, it was ready for planting. So I decided to go ahead and sow my seeds directly in the ground um, outside on the garden now my thinking was by the time i got to sowing my seeds it was relatively warm we were past the the frost date the last the last um frost date for the spring so i felt comfortable sowing all of my seeds directly um in ground at the garden lot um, another reason why i did this is because i live in a studio apartment and I don't necessarily have a balcony. Now, if I had a balcony, it'll be easier for me to sow my seeds in other containers and take it to the garden. Now, with sowing the seeds directly in the soil, um, I encountered a couple of problems. Um, there were pests that were eating some of my stuff. I would say one thing that suffered, or throughout this whole garden season that has suffered the most pest damage on my garden, is the garden huckleberry plant. Um, sowed seeds, insects ate it. I sowed carrots, I sowed um, amaranths, two different types of amaranths. I also sowed, um, I sowed parsley, I believe. I sowed dill, I sowed lettuce, um, kale, collard greens. All of those germinated perfectly, but the garden huckleberry really suffered um, a devastating blow due to the insects um, and going into this garden I had planned initially to not really use insecticides or fertilizers but the damage was getting so rough that I had to use uh, an insecticide or else I wasn't gonna you know get anything from all of my hard work um, one of the reasons why I had a pest problem, like I said, this is a community garden and you can't really control how everybody else takes care of their garden. There were a couple of people, quite a handful of people who got garden lots and just abandoned it, right? And they were breeding those pests in their garden lots because everything was unkempt. I'm still handling that right now. Um, there are people who would, you know, you know, sign up and get a garden lot and not work on it properly or they don't have the capacity to come there as often as is needed to take care of it and then they end up breeding insects um, or rather So I got a garden. Yes, I did. I have a garden and I've had a garden for a while now and it's doing so-so. It's not in its best state. Um, that's it right there. Those are the crops that started. I started some crops at home. 
and I am transferring to them right now and it's been rough. Um, the sun is absolutely harsh. They got full sun. Um, as long as the sun is out, they're in the sun, right? Um, my plants or the garden plot does not have much shade. So the plants get full sun every day, all day. Um, I've been coming to water every, twice a day actually, not every day, twice, every day, but twice every day. And they're doing okay. I, they're not yet dead, but they're almost dead. So, but I wanted to go show you what I've grown so far. Area view of it um, starts right here. This first one belongs to my aunt because I figured that was too much for me. So she's gonna plant her huckleberry um, over here. The second one, mine, then if you can see, there, there's a third right there. <laughs> well, I'm gonna use an arrow to show you. I said a bunch of stuff and I mixed it all. So right here you have some greens. Um, these are like, um, we call them green in our country, but they're like a solosia. Not like they are in that family. They're an edible solosia. Right here, I have some little basil. Not doing too terrific. I think the camera is um, over editing the shit out of it, but you can see all the yellow leaves. So I have a bug problem. There are snails that eat your shit when you transplant it, right? So right here, I have some bitter leaf doing not so well. Um, more green, not thriving. It's been kind of rough. Look at that. Those are like collard greens and kale, regular kale, not just a kale. Um, more, more greens. So the reason why these are looking like this is because I transplanted them. And um, yeah. Right here, I have some carrots um, with some weeds. Right here, a bunch of celosias. They're doing really well. This is some strawberries. A neighbor gave me those. Some sweet potatoes I started at home. It's not doing very well. I don't know if it's gonna survive. Fingers crossed. More like greens from the person who owned the spot last year. The seeds fell over. Did not plant that. Don't quite remember what I grew in Germany. Oh, this is. Flowery, but I don't think it's going to survive. I doubt it's going to survive. It's not going to make it. Next time I'll just bring the seeds and plant in here directly. But this is okra. My neighbor gave me this okra. The person who owned this plot last year. She gave me a lot of seeds actually. And oh, I'm going to be getting a lot of okra this year. I am excited. This is an upgraded view of the garden. Um, those are the plants that looked really... They look really dead last time and they're doing better I mean we're taking care of them okay that's just an overview and then if you look right there that's the new transplant obviously not doing well right now but with time I said give it more love it's gonna pick up I just transplanted the bitter leaf today. Gonna give that as much love as possible to give it a fighting chance. And hopefully in a week's time, it's gonna look as fresh as the rest of these vegetables. I just have to make sure I take good care of it. So yeah. She has a garden or whatever. I am super proud of myself. I am about to have my first official harvest. Probably today or tomorrow morning. 
um, the green, the amaranth I grew has really done well. Um, it's nice to eat the fruits of your labor. It's exciting. Um, I'm going to show you what the garden looks like. Garden update. Hashtag garden update right now. Um, so I probably should flip this right. Right there, um, huckleberry that I, you know, my aunt planted. But this is the stuff I've been growing so far. Take a look at that. That is amazing. Amazing. Like, I am about to be eating food weekly from this garden. Um, so that's that. That's the second one I transplanted over there. Those are my potatoes. Look at more green. I'm gonna take out some of these and replace with something else. Some seedlings over there, my carrots. And on this space in front of me, I am about to transplant the garden huckleberry from there. Also right here, you can see the bitter leaf. It takes a little longer to grow, but it is doing amazing so far. So yeah, we will be eating from our garden very soon on a weekly basis. I'm giving July is going to be uh, we're eating from the garden. Like, hashtag not buying from the store because I'm going to have a lot of shit to eat. So I'm grateful for that.